parade goers in Jamestown this weekend will have another fun activity to participate in to spread the holiday cheer. As they cast their ballots as part of a window decorating contest, our Julia Grass shares the festive fun. We're doing a window decorating contest where we asked any business in within 14701 zip code they can decorate for Christmas, be entered to win in um, a couple really great prizes. Um, and it's all done via texting. Um, anybody can vote. Doesn't matter who you are. 30 businesses are competing this year, and Chautauqua County's Chamber of Commerce needs your help to vote for a winner. Voters can scan a QR code or text 866-993-0032 once per day until November 4th. And then you can select the number or the name of the business that you would like to vote for. Um, the full list I do have posted on Facebook on a post. I'm going to share that again today, and then the pictures of the ones that I have um, the next couple days. Coordinator Carrie Swanson hopes that those attending the parade will use their downtime to check out the businesses around town. In the past, when JRC used to run the window decorating contest, they did um, marketing and those kind of advertising opportunities for these businesses, which sometimes is the thing that unfortunately gets you got a budget and we all get that. So we wanted to open that up. The top windows will win free advertising from several media outlets, including WNY News Now. Off the tail of one of the most successful small business Saturday in recent history, the Chamber of Commerce also hopes this contest will bring new customers into local businesses. I want to really encourage, and we as the Chamber especially, want to encourage people to shop small all year. Um, it's, it's awesome at the holidays, but just remember, when it comes time for doors open, which is coming up soon, <laughs> um, or if you're going to out to Mayville to the winter festival, a few of our winter events that are coming up, remember to shop small and support those local businesses. Julia Grass, WNY News Now.